Let us take a look. Let's suppose. Now that we discussed, now that we define what the half-life of a radioactive isotope is as well as the activity of radioactive isotopes, let's take a look at the following example that deals with these two concepts. So the carbon-14 isotope has a half-life of 5,730 years. In part A, if the initial sample contains 1.8 times 10 to the 15 nuclei of the carbon-14 isotope, find the activity of this carbon-14. And in part B, if we double that initial amount, find the new activity. So let's begin with part A by recalling the two equations that we're going to need to use in this lecture. So equation one gives us the activity of our isotope. So the activity of any isotope given by uppercase R is equal to the product of the decay constant given by alpha and N, the number of nuclei in our sample. And equation two gives us a way to calculate calculate what our alpha is. So if we take the equation, rearrange it and solve for alpha, and if we know what our half-life is, we can calculate that alpha. And then by using the value we obtain for alpha, we can then calculate the activity. And that's exactly what we're going to do in this step. So, in step one of part A, we want to take equation two, rearrange equation two, and solve for alpha. So the dK constant is equal to the natural log of two divided by the half-life, and the half-life is 5,730 years. So we plug these values into our calculator and we find that alpha, the dK constant, is equal to about 1.21 times 10 to negative four, years to the negative one. So now that we know what alpha is, we can use equation one to calculate the activity of our isotope. So the activity is given by taking the product of our initial nuclei, initial number of nuclei, and the dK constant. So we multiply 1.8 times 10 to the 15 nuclei by our rate, uh, our dK constant alpha, and we get at about 2.18 times 10 to the 11 nuclei per year. So basically this is the number of nuclei that readily decay per year, assuming that our initial concentration is given by this quantity. Now, if we move on to part B, in part B, we're basically doubling the initial sample concentration. So we're doubling the number of nuclei from 1.8 times 10 to the 15 to 2 times that, or 3.6 times 10 to the 15. So when we double the concentration, our alpha does not actually change because alpha only depends on our half-life. So basically, we use use the same alpha and this equation to calculate R and we see by doubling our initial sample concentration we basically double the number of nuclei that decay every single year. We double the activity of our isotope. <laughs>